There's more than one chaotic force of nature festering its way across the world right now. The difference is, the one I'm going to be talking about today is not only far more contagious, but you're not even safe from it inside your own home. The worst part is, all you need to do to get affected by this phenomenon is to answer one simple question. Wanna, Wanna be, be friends? friends? If you follow any smaller creators, you'll have almost definitely seen this line of text in their comment section. I can without a doubt say it's the widest spread comment I've ever seen, but it's so much more malicious than it seems on the surface. At first I thought it was an upstart YouTube channel trying to do some marketing, but it quickly dawned on me how much more sinister this situation was. Thousands of people have lost their entire channels from this one innocent comment, and it's one of the largest security breaches I've seen YouTube go through throughout my decade on the platform. Stay until the end of the video and you'll find out not only how dangerous this simple comment is, and how to stay safe from it, but also how it's led to one of the fastest growing channels on the platform since Logan Paul. Speaking of Logan, that happens to be one of the many aliases this comment has been posted by, and it's also the one I've personally been plagued by. It would appear as the first two comments on every new video of mine, sometimes before they'd even gone public so something was already suspicious. I did some investigating by asking on both my Twitter and a subreddit. The response was instantaneous, which confirmed my theory. The scale of this comment was unprecedented. I'd seen it on videos besides mine, and I wasn't the only one. To put it in perspective, if you search any words into the YouTube search bar and filter results by upload time, you're bound to find this comment on whatever you click on. No matter what it's about, no matter how many views that video currently has. So it's just a bot system that someone is using to advertise their channel, right? Well, advertising is a bit of a stretch. The truth is unfortunately far less innocent than that. When I started investigating this, I didn't really realise how much of a can of worms it was, so I didn't know where to ask. I started on Twitter and got a few positive responses from people I knew, and then I made a post on the Out of the Loop subreddit, in case it was a trend that a YouTuber had started, or it was some kind of meme or something that I wasn't aware of. I did actually get a fair bit of information out of the Out of the Loop subreddit, but unfortunately people didn't answer in the correct format. For those who don't know, when you make an answer on the Out of the Loop subreddit, you need to start it with answer, colon, and then the answer. And people didn't do that. So all I had was some um, notifications which were cut off. It was on the subreddit where I first found out subscribing to one of these accounts would have some kind of bad consequence. I also had confirmation that people with no channel presence whatsoever, people only getting two views on their videos, would have the comment on their videos. So it was spreading pretty fast. In fact, on one of Logan's videos, I saw someone begging for their account back. They claimed that Logan had hacked them, and they no longer had access to their account. As for how this happened, I wish I knew. During the investigation I was carrying out, a few rumours came in that engaging with the person asking to be friends would be dangerous. At first, I thought this was only a rumour, but I went on to find some worrying evidence that it was true. In fact, even as little of a gesture as subscribing to the account could be enough to put you in danger, and have you potentially lose your YouTube channel altogether. Chasing down these comments, they all seem to lead me to the same destination, a gaming channel called Tribe. All right, all right, so I am Tribe, and this is a proper introductory video to my channel. What's alarming about this is the scale of his growth. Here's a thought experiment for you. Imagine a new channel started making videos, and their first video was just titled, Welcome to my channel. It's one minute long, and the thumbnail just says, Please subscribe. How many views do you think it would get? A small handful, right? Try 96,000 in 24 hours. This would literally never happen under ordinary circumstances. Not only would they have no prior subscribers, but there's no reason to watch a video like that from a complete stranger. Creators make the mistake of making videos like that all the time, and people just do not care. Anyone who's even mildly versed in YouTube will tell you not to do this. It's not how you start a channel yet alone the fact that there's zero chance of it appearing in YouTube's algorithm, so things are already a bit suspicious. And it wasn't a one-off, it kept happening. The guy is decent at commentating, but not good enough to warrant this growth. It was only when he released his third video that the mystery revealed itself. I am going to help three YouTubers get to 1,000 subscribers. 
Of course. Now there's a reason for someone to actually watch a video like that, yet ironically it gets the least views of all his videos. Suddenly people start watching for real, and because of Tribee's unprecedented growth, people believe he can do it. I should mention at this point that Tribee renamed his channel back to Logan, whereas before Logan would just lead to Tribee's channel so it seems as though he keeps changing the name of his channel, probably to avoid detection. He says he knows the secrets of a YouTube algorithm, but he's incredibly vague. He keeps stringing you on, giving you little tidbits of advice, and saying that one day he'll show you how he managed to grow to the size he did. But he never does. In my last video, I promised you guys that I was going to show you a few steps and tricks that you could use to grow your own YouTube channel just like I did. In fact, he made a video giving the supposed advice he follows to get these numbers, but you check his videos and he doesn't even follow the bullshit he peddles you. Here is the format of a well written description. He gives the most basic of basic advice which any YouTuber or person who's not even YouTubing knows to follow. He probably got these tips off a website and he's just claiming they're the way he managed to grow his channel when in reality he's doing it in a much dodgier way. If you haven't guessed by now, this head developed one of the most advanced bots on YouTube's platform just to make his channel appear as though he'd worked out the secrets of the algorithm and now he plans to string people along and create exponential figures of engagement, so his channel can snowball, going from shady bots to get views, to actual engagement of people wanting to know how he did it, just to make his channel appear as though he'd worked out the secret to the algorithm. If you look at his first few videos, you'll see his comments are just... nothing. Things people would literally never comment, especially in response to the videos he was posting. Yeah, the real way he growed his channel so large was using bots. They're all bots, but bots using real accounts, your accounts, actually. So how did he get these accounts? Well, that brings us back to the original question. Wanna, Wanna be, be friends? friends? Somehow, this guy developed a way of hacking people's channels solely by having them subscribe to him. And this is incredibly alarming. All these accounts posting these fake comments are real accounts, so this plague can go unnoticed by YouTube, and his channel can thrive with nobody knowing how. This is not okay. People worked hard to make these channels unlike him, and they can lose it within seconds just by falling for a comment and subscribing to this person. It's even speculated that just responding to his comment can result in you losing your account to him. What's even more concerning is the fake comments he leaves on people's videos seem so real, as they'll talk about specific situations and parts of the video. For example, he mentioned my exact subscribe account and wished me luck on getting 35,000. A couple of his comments even responded to specific things I'd said in the video before my videos had gone public, before it even had time to watch them. So I can only discern that it's using transcriptions and some access to the YouTube database in order to achieve this. It's an incredible security breach. And I imagine with the chaos the world is in, YouTube hasn't been able to prevent it, so I don't even blame them for allowing this to happen. It needs to stop though, and quickly, before the person responsible is able to cover up their tracks and build a legitimately successful channel from the ashes of all the people whose channels he's hacked and turned into comment farms. YouTube needs to know about this, and to stop it but I don't have the influence to make them aware of it. And every day that passes, more people lose their channels to this incorrigible, reprehensible hacker. Therefore, I would really appreciate your support. After posting this video, I'm going to tweet it to YouTube, and the more exposure it gets, the better chance I think they'll see it. If you could share this video or retweet that tweet, which I'll have linked in the description, then I think we can fix this. What's more is there are bigger and better channels better suited for doing an investigation like this, so that even if we can't change anything, we can get the ball rolling. So please send this video or talk about this topic to some of the creators on screen now. Channels like Nexpo, Rainbot, Internet Historian, or even commentary channels like Danny Gonzalez or Drew Gooden. People with influence, people who can change things, People who know people at YouTube. I don't normally do things like this, and I don't like asking my audience to aggressively share my videos, but I'm not doing this selfishly. I'm doing it because the thought of losing my channel sounds like a nightmare. But for some people right now, it's a reality. Please, if you see this account in the comments of any videos, 
do not interact with it. I even urge you not to go over to Logan's or Tribe's or whatever name he's going by. Do not go to his channel. Don't interact with his videos unless you're reporting them. Mass reporting might help, as will sending this video to the people who are in a better position to help than I am. If you want to help spread awareness of this issue yourself, you can tweet the hashtag YouTubers at risk. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and have a nice day. Logan, if you're watching this, f*** you.